morning. It is Tuesday morning right now and I am doing some sketching before I start working. Um, and I'm making this piece um, which will be two people hugging and then a landscape. Daring to make this into a card, a Christmas card. It is inspired by these two hugging. So this is the same, you know, layout but different colors and then i also want to incorporate a landscape in it uh i'm watching crixis and this week i've been enjoying uh lino printing a lot i went to this really cute um creative life uh, event so it was an event i have some footage i'll put it in the video uh, but it was an event where all sort of creative people uh, showed their work and you could also buy some stuff so i bought um some uh clothing item and i also bought this workshop in a box so that is very creative of uh, the people there and in here i have um, some lino printing also made some footage about that so I'm watching Crix's video on lino printing and <laughs> I've been printing uh, some stuff so and in the video she uh, decided to put it on blue paper and then I was inspired and I thought oh I also want to try um, to print on um, this dark brown paper i think the teal color would be really stunning on this um brown paper um but i made two uh three prints so far so a fish a lion and a cat um these are very uh things that i draw a lot uh cats and cat creatures so in the set i got six of these uh small lino uh boards so six i got this wooden thingy i got one inked and i decided to buy two extras so i also got this color which is aquatic splash <laughs> and this is sorry for the noise in the background my cat is having a blast uh this is spanish olive and then i have black and black was inside the the box um and uh she also included this um thing for your other um things to cut with so here you can scratch into the lino um it's quite easily actually i think uh, you do need to be <laughs> aware of your safety. I'm a very, even though I like art, I am a very um, not so delicate person in, in my movements. So, of course, I cut myself, as you can see. But uh, So, make sure that you do this safely. But I have a lion, a fish. I need to clean this, these. Uh, but it's easier to show you when um, they are still dirty. And a cat. And I am loving this. I think it's very relaxing to do lino printing. Never done it before. Definitely is part of <laughs> what I like to do now for making art. And it also helps me to... Because the things that you want to make stems of are things that are very resemblance of your style at least that's what i did so it also helped me in that sense to be more aware of what my style is
course, I am watching Cindy Hasters. I have some coffee. It's Saturday morning. I just wanted to mention these uh, De La acrylic inks. I'm using them for a landscape inspired by <laughs> Cindy Haster, as you can see. Um, at the end, it's going to have a on a twist, I'm sure of it. So I'll put my own twist on it. Um, and I also have this color. Um... Indian yellow, also a lovely color. And then the sky, I use this watercolor pipe Monte. And I really enjoy using my big watercolor Meaden palette for um, working in my sketchbook and doing bigger stuff. And here I have all of the soft pastels that I'm going to create layers on with this. Really enjoyed this new video of Cindy Haster. I would highly recommend this video. Also recently joined the Patreon of Sarah Dyer and I love it. I love it. So recommend that one as well for some watching inspiration. This is how the landscape turned out. And I put a little house here and some trees. Another tree. I really like the details of the trees and another house. And you can see that is it is inspired by Cindy Hester. I love her videos so much. It is a morning before work and I got some new art supplies. So of course. So of course I need to share those with you. I have some coffee. Mm. I got pencils. Quite a lot of new pencils and also some paper but some paper i'll show you after this and then we grab the pencils that i got so here they are <laughs> beautiful um let me start with these two pencils Let me start with these two pencils. I have the Oyster, Derwent Oyster, and Derwent Salmon. So two light pinks. This is the salmon. This is the oyster by Derwent Light Fast. And I was looking for some really nice um, light pinks. I like to use pinks for blushes on animals, on fish, on people. So I thought I needed some very dull pinks. So I got those. Then I have this on color um dark turquoise and this is by create color and this pencil is very soft i was surprised how nice this pencil was super soft really nice color and now of course i want more <laughs> and then i went to dilla and camilla um I'll show you the Dilla and Camilla. That's how. That's how I uh, see. It. <laughs> um, and also there they had some pencils, and they had neon pencils, and I was looking for neon pencils for quite a while. Um, and I got um, a Dilla and Camilla gift card for my birthday. So. I thought this was very nice to pick up some neon pencils, some neon colored pencils, and they are very nice. So here you can see they jump off the page. Um, the pencil quality is good, but not like anything like um, Derwent or Carandash, but that is totally <laughs> expected because uh, these were two euros each, I think, 
and I also got this fun color um, also by uh, Lyra all of these pencils are by Lyra so I'm sure you can get them at more places than only at Carandash um, and this is a very interesting multicolored pencil and I do really enjoy using those kind of pencils so I got those while I was shopping um, I also got a lot of brushes by Sustaine Grena. Again, <laughs> let me show you the logo because it is this store, uh, Sustaine Grena. That's how I say it. Got some soft pastels. Not going to switch those, but they're quite nice. I got this cute brush stand. Amazing. <laughs> um, and it's very cute you can put your brushes in there also got a lot of brushes from that place um because i really enjoy using i think they have the most amazing cheap brushes um which is good because we're always looking for some nice brushes this big fluffy brush and then some like a lot of great brushes and I actually recommend all of their brushes uh, they have acrylic brushes and watercolor brushes so very nice highly recommend those so I'm still on the hunt for some good um, relatively cheap paper so I got this, um, this is relatively cheap, I got this, seriously printing paper, um, but it's quite nice and very inexpensive. These are 75 sheets for 15 euros, so that's nice. And then I got two of these packages, um, and this is watercolor paper, uh, Academia drawing and watercolor and it's quite soft and I really enjoy uh, Fabriano so I thought I would try their cheapest paper and this is a pack of 100, 100 sheets for 30 euros so that's amazing that's a very inexpensive price for watercolor paper thank you so much for watching this studio vlog I really hope to see you in my next video uh, subscribe, leave a comment down below, um, and yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Bye.